Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on Bubble. Inside of this video, I'll be talking about the brand new type. So update, because a lot of people are considering this the worst update they've ever released. Like a lot of people, I'm not gonna lie, are hating. Especially on the balance changes. The balance changes, I believe, came out the day before. But yeah, just know, nobody is really liking the day. Especially after this update. Now, the player count did go up because I believe they did drop a 5 roll ticket code, which is kind of fucking crazy. Um, that's basically their only way to revive their game at this point, is to keep giving out free world tickets. And yeah, that was basically the good, only good thing inside this update. But let's just go over the update so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So here you guys can see, Snake Saduna was added. Apparently it's one of the worst Sadunas now. Obviously it's not tested very much because people don't know what they're doing. Because uh, Snake's just a weird thing in general, so it might be broken. But from what I've heard, it's not that cool, right? I've watched some videos, from what I heard, it's not that cool. Uh, we have 10 new accessories, once again, nobody fucking cares about that. Uh, two new weapons, one for Quincy, one for Aronkar. I haven't seen anything on those, those might be cool. Uh, but either way, it's just two weapons, and they are only droppable from AFK World and Clan Wars. Once again, trying to boost up their player camp by forcing people to play for new shit. And then they added a private server, Dane Pass, and I believe it's 800 Robux. Um, let's actually see. That is the Ron button. But yeah, I do believe... Um, how the fuck do you buy shit? Okay, right here. And it doesn't even let me scroll. What a fucking broken ass day. Uh, but yeah, I do believe it's 800 for uh, the thing. So that's kind of crazy. And private servers in a game like this makes zero sense at all. So I don't really know why they would uh, decide to add private servers. It doesn't really add up to me. Unless if you're trying to 1v1 your friends. And then you're really going to pay 800 Robux for that. Uh, quality of life. Different sound effects added for blue pilling. Random shit nobody cares about. Mobile. Once then, nobody really cares about. Gamepad. New controller fits. You can zoom in while having a weapon out. Uh, once then, nobody really cares. Button A jump not working. That's kind of crazy. M2 on mobile is now a separate button. Don't know why it wouldn't be. Balancing. They reduce one thing's cooldown. Reduce one th or increase another cooldown. Um, shadow. Nerfed. Uh, with SR Keto, reduce stun on both, whatever weapon that is, and then that uh, puts that one on cooldown. Because if you guys don't know, you can move stack with, uh, basically you can do this into this, and then this into that, and it was true. Uh, but yeah, they say right here, we're going to be slowing down on the amount of content updates we're going to have due to the fact that most of the devs are working on hell. And that's where it should include a new res and visionary rework. And visionary rework was supposed to be this update, but now they delayed it for a whole week. And if you guys don't already know, basically they're delaying updates until Saturday now. Saturday is the new update day because they said, and I quote, I do not or we do not want to compete with Deep Oaken. Um, after these recent updates and they're slowing down on content updates, it's going to be two weeks per update. Um, I'll be surprised if you can even fucking compete with them in general, let alone on their update days. Um, but yeah, it is kind of crazy, right? One of the worst updates, in my opinion, all that we really got was a Sejunda and once then two new clan war weapons. Um, and also private servers, which nobody's going to buy because this is not a game that you run private servers in, right? Um, and then, yeah, that was relatively it. Some garbage balance changes and some garbage quality of life ones. A lot of toads, though. You guys seen the toads. Let's go. So over these toads, you guys can see one, two, three, four, five, five, five codes. They dropped five codes because they knew this update was ass. And then they said that they're going to slow down on content updates. And that's updates just going to be something that we were expecting this update. I don't know, Dane. The game does have a lot of players right now because once then they just gave everybody more world tickets. That's basically their just like fallback plan on. If the game starts dropping in players, because it was literally at 20k just like right before this if the name starts dropping in players literally what they're gonna do is just start releasing world tickets which is kind of crazy to me um but it does make sense right people like world tickets they like to afk they like to give them money so it does make sense um but yeah that's basically their fallback plan now is just to spam world tickets uh but next update we're getting one new res and visionary rework which is um in my opinion pretty fucking ass and then they said that they're gonna slow down on content updates as well meaning that it's gonna take even longer than one week um so it's probably gonna be once every two weeks for like what two pieces of content and visionary rework respectfully nobody's even gonna run that shit so i don't know i don't know and this update it was really just snake sedunda and two weapons um and yeah that's pretty fucking much it um and snake sedunda apparently isn't even good so you guys can feel free to leave your own thoughts inside the comments on this update and, you know, the update next week if you think that's something good. Uh, but the rest of the video, I'm just going to be talking about the balance changes because the recent balance changes and the recent meta that the game has been in in general is terrible. 
it is probably in the worst state that it's ever been in right because the new sr um hog skill thing's kind of broken um sr keto was broken which they did just nerf it slightly but it's still gonna be broken no matter what haka does bring that apparently uh shaori the skill box is true because it doesn't turn the person around anymore so you actually have to physically like turn around your avatar and block for it not to hit apparently hawk to the in general is broken it has true combos it's just broken in general right apparently literally everything is either completely busted or completely broken uh which does make sense right you know that's always how type 2 has been but apparently it's in like one of the worst states that it's ever been in uh basically nobody's really enjoying the game i'm just going off what i told inside my discord i haven't been playing the game recently so maybe this is true maybe it's not um but yeah just know this is one of their worst updates yet and apparently they're going to start taking longer and longer and longer. And the reason why they delayed to, uh, for Saturday, and he's, well, one thing that I do want to point out is they said we're going to update on Saturday. And they literally dropped this update at midnight on Sunday. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, they basically delayed it by two full days since the old update day was Friday. Then they said Saturday, then it released it on a Sunday, uh, which is pretty interesting i won't lie um but yeah it's just kind of fucking crazy right the updates are getting worse the content's getting smaller now they're saying that the updates are going to take longer and now they're on saturdays and the player count's dropping and the only thing that they're doing to fix the player count is releasing world ticket codes five codes in one up there was more codes inside of this update than there was content added that shit is fucking crazy to think about think about it there is more codes Instead of this update, then actual content added. Because there was only four new pieces of content, and one you had to buy, and then there is five codes. That's just kind of fucking crazy, I won't lie. But you guys can feel free to leave your own thoughts on ty Type Soul, right? How you think it's doing? The current state that it's in? Anything like that? You guys can feel free to leave your own thoughts inside the comments down below. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for me. I will have another Type Soul video tomorrow. I'm sure a lot of you guys are expecting what it to be, because I made this fucking video. Um, but yeah, pretty much spoiler if you don't want to watch tomorrow's video i think i am gonna return to type soul but like not i don't know you'll see you'll see you'll see but just know i expect more videos like this right pretty much um but yeah that's pretty much it for me you guys can feel free to leave your own thoughts inside the comments down below on this update um the update that we're gonna get in a week and them delaying updates them saying that they're not gonna update on fridays anymore due to deep woken pretty much they basically blatantly said that um just give your own thoughts on basically the whole game state anything that you guys want to give your own feedback on and kind of what builds are fun right now because is there any fun builds right now that is honestly the biggest thing that i am questioning because um it seems like everyone that's playing this game is not enjoying it uh but yeah that's it for me if you guys end up enjoying it like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace